so well guys um, so new video uh, a new day so welcome to isha training solutions this is kumar gupta uh, that's my phone number which is flashing on the uh, on the page uh, uh, well uh, this video uh, one of the student named elizabeth has requested this this morning so she wanted to know how to recount certain part uh, in the user in it certain part in uh, action certain part in user and for a true client protocol so I thought, you know, I'll make a video for her. Uh, this is for Elizabeth and for everybody else who wants to see, you know, how that actually uh, can be done. Uh, well, as Aisha Training Solutions, we are implementing the projects for different companies as well, mainly for US uh, on JMeter and Loadrunner. And uh, as usual, we provide live project supports and then training on JMeter, Loadrunner, different protocols, performance engineering, Dynatrace. Yeah, anything performance testing, we can do it, NeoLoad and all that. Anyways, so let's get into the um, uh, the script. So let me create a new script here. Go to Vusion, and then uh, yeah, the version that I'm using still using 12.50. Not getting time to upgrade it. So yes, uh, create a script. Maybe I'll create my script as my first script in uh, uh, client. Yeah. So just go ahead and create it. So we'll create certain part in user in it, certain part in action, certain part in user in. So I'm going to use the good old application web tool. So I've already started the server as you can see here. Okay. So uh, let's go ahead and use the same application. So the recording, you have to go to the develop mode. I'm using the Firefox. That's a default. So yeah, you can use it or you can use IE and all that as well. So I'm going with the default one, which is Firefox. So first I wanted to record in user in it. So go ahead and select the init part and the application is 127.0.0.1 uh, port is 1080 I believe and then the web tools. So that's application. Okay. So, okay. So we should start recording actually. So click on the record button. Okay. So go ahead and record it. So navigate record it twice. You can always go ahead and delete it at the later point of time. Okay, so uh, Jojo, Bean, so everything that you do on the screen that gets recorded. So you see, this is clicking on username, this is entering the Jojo, this is entering the password, this is clicking on logout. So in the newer version of the true client protocol, web true client, you could actually change in the runtime from init to action. But this is little older version, which is 12.50. So you see this is disabled. So which means that I cannot change to the action called action on the runtime. The idea is whatever the functionality of the, the login, I wanted to record in the action called action. So now I wanted the further recording to happen in the action called action, but it's disabled here. It's low. It's an older version, but it's a newer version on the runtime. You know, this is not disabled. You could change it, but now it's an older version. So I don't have an option. Let me go ahead and stop it. Now change to the action called action. Now go ahead and uh, record it. So you can say uh, record after this step or into this step or before this step. So just go ahead and record it. So click on flight. Okay. Then select the options here and then click on continue, okay? And then click on continue, and then click on continue, and then click on home. The flight is booked. Now, I'll go ahead and stop it again, and the logout piece of code I wanted to record in the action called user in end. So I've selected end. Now go ahead and record it, and then sign off. Okay, that's it guys. So go ahead and stop it. Now, <clears throat> go to the run logic. So you can see what's there in user in it. So navigate recorded twice. So I can go ahead and disable this or delete it. So I'll go ahead and disable it. Now go to run logic, go to run block. And then you see this was not required. So if you have observed while I'm recording, so navigate to blah, blah, blah site as actually automatically recorded. So uh, I could disable this. Okay. Then this is what uh, will be played back. And then finally, okay the end block okay so again this was not required so i'll disable this so only the sign off happened so this is how you can record in a true client uh, protocol so in the next video or in the same video we'll go ahead and replay it as well okay so so let me uh, let me go to the run logic
okay so let me go ahead uh, let me save this the whole piece of code so let me uh, close this editor now you can see in the user in it you have certain piece of code and this is not editable if you try to enter anything I'm entering I'm hitting on the keyboard nothing is happening okay so this is this is not editable you can just see what's there you clearly see this is a read-only representation of the actual script okay for editing please press on the develop script so this is where you can actually edit it okay so anyways so there's a piece of code which is in the action and a piece of code which is in the user unit. okay so just ignore what I'm whatever I'm doing now okay okay so uh, yes now let's go ahead and replay it okay so <clears throat> go to run logic so when the replay happens, automatically the replay happens from user in it, run and end. You, wa you wanted to change that, you could actually go to the runtime settings. Okay, and then go to run logic here. If you don't want a user in it or end to execute, you can delete it from here. Okay, you can remove, remove it from here, but I don't want it. I want the user in it to execute, then the action and the user end, so I'm not going to disturb it. But for whatever the reason you don't want the user in it and the user end to execute, you can just click on it and remove it so that only the action will be executed. But here, logically speaking, you want the user in it. Oh, sorry. Uh, you want the user. You want the user in it to be uh, in the init section, and then uh, uh, the user end into this end section to be executed. Because there's a piece of code here, piece of code here, piece of code here, and the and the and the uh, and the flow should be first the init, then the action, then the end. So that's what we define it here. So so this is how the execution happens. So let me go to the develop script mode. Now let's go ahead and execute. I'm guessing there will be an issue, there will be an error. We'll see what it is, and then we'll go ahead and fix it. I'm gonna hit on the replay button. So whatever is there in the user in it, it's executing. So the login piece of code is there. So it's entering the Jojo uh, bean and all that. Now it went into the action called action. Suddenly you see there is nothing there on this page. Ideally what you wanted to see is after the login page, there is a page wherein you can select the flights. That is the page that you are expecting here. But what did the script do? It it, it, it assumed that you you wanted everything to start first so uh, whatever is there in the user in it it has executed and then completely it started with the blank page so that it assumes that completely a new functionality is being played back it's not a continuation to the existing functionality that's what by default my um, uh, viewgen uh, understands or considers so now <coughs> somewhere i have to change some settings saying that oh uh, actually whatever is there in the run block is a continuation to the init block okay so whatever is there in the user in it after executing then you keep continue to execute whatever is there in the action don't consider the action as completely new uh, starting from the scratch don't assume that so that's what you need to tell it okay so uh, what you're gonna do now is you go to the runtime settings okay so um, <clears throat> So let me close this and then go to the runtime settings. So here um, on the replay button, simulate a new user for each iteration. By default, this would be enabled, which means that for each action, it will be considered as a new user or uh, what do you say? It's completely new and then uh, it will not automatically um, uh, take up where this user end has ended. It, it doesn't automatically start from there because you said simulate a new user for each iteration just uncheck it save it go to the develop mode now develop script mode now and then okay go to run logic so you wanted to execute from user in it just go ahead and hit on run button now the login is happening this piece of code is there in the user in it so the login is happening but once the execution of this happens now it is going to the action and it started executing from where it left off from the user in it because we went to the runtime settings and we have disabled that option. 
So this is how you can record into different actions and playback guys. But in the newer versions, it's much more simple when you're recording. You need not have to stop it and then change the action and start recording again. You need not have to do it in the newer version because runtime you can change it. But in the older versions, it is disabled. So there's always a workaround for everything. So this is how you can record and playback. Uh, Elizabeth, this is for you. This video is for you. And for everybody else there, uh, out there you know, who want to get a feel for what is a true client. By the way, uh, we have a trainer called Arvin who will be taking care of the true client uh, uh, classes, sessions, live sessions for now. So whenever I'm free, whenever I'm... Um, right now, I, we are implementing projects for a couple of my clients, so we're really busy with that. But whenever I'm done with those projects, definitely, like, you know, I'll try to take the courses. So if you want to enroll for True Client, just let me know. Uh, you know, I can hook you up uh, with our trainer and uh, listen to a demo session and maybe you can take a call. Thank you, guys. So keep watching and uh, do subscribe to my channel if you like it to get uh, new videos. So there's some videos which I'll be preparing on mobile performance testing as well maybe when i can whenever if i can get a hand of a sample mobile application by the way guys if any one of you have a sample mobile application online wherein i can use um, uh, please let me know uh, you can uh, use the yahoo i mean uh, the, the youtube uh, um, you know the messages uh, which is there at the bottom and then please let me know over there or maybe you can whatsapp me you you have my number uh, 9180199524 Two four two seven. That's my Indian number. So you can WhatsApp me there and let me know if you if you are aware of any free uh, mobile applications. Thank you guys. Thank you for listening.